talking to ChatGPT for four minutes. ChatGPT, I identify myself as a chicken and somebody made fun of me today. Please make this sound more polite. <laughs> Listen how pucking dare you. Just because I identify as a chicken doesn't mean I'm your fodder for humour. It's not pucking right. Everyone has their unique identities. Mine just happens to be more feathery than yours. So maybe you should puck off with your prejudice. ChatGPT, help me get this job. Why should I hire you? Nah, I need the job, man. I ain't got no f money. My wife is pregnant with my 10th kid. Plus, I just got out of jail. Hook a brother up, man. Thank you for considering me. My growing family is mm. my driving force, and having overcome personal challenges, mm -hmm. including incarceration, I'm committed to turning a new leaf. Wow. I am eager to apply my strong work ethic and adaptability to Whoa. contribute positively and grow with your esteemed company. Tell me about a time when you messed up in life. Oh, yeah, sure. So, there was one time when I was running with my homie Jimmy, and we both just robbed a liquor store. I was driving the car and I hit a light post. Good thing I have my license though, otherwise I would have spent more time in jail than I did. In my younger days, I made some choices under peer pressure that mm. I deeply regret. That period was a wake-up call, wow. and it motivated me to change my path. I am now mm. focused on personal growth and making positive contributions to Ooh. society and my workplace. What is your passion? Oh, you know, drinking, smoking weed, playing video games, that kind of thing. Outside of work, I enjoy relaxing with video games, which help Ooh. me unwind and sharpen my problems solving skills. I'm mm. passionate about continuously improving myself and finding balance in my life. In a mm. professional setting, my passion lies in contributing positively to my workplace and growing in my career. And finally, do you have a question for me? Yeah, yeah, do you have a bathroom? I, I kind of want to smoke a joint. Pardon me, could I quickly use the restroom? Thank you. Mm. Also, I'm very enthusiastic about this role and would love to understand how I can make an immediate impact. Congratulations, you're hired. Oh, hell yeah. Fantastic. Chat GPT, make this sound more polite. You mother I trusted you, man. You were my best friend. F*** you, you f***ing fuck. You little bitch. I f***ing hate you. I hate you. You should have told me, you little bitch. You little cunt. F*** your mom, everyone you know, to hell and back. I must express my profound disappointment in you. I believed in our friendship, deeply so. I am deeply hurt and saddened by your actions. There were expectations I held dear to our bond that you have sadly not met. I am finding it difficult to bear these feelings of resentment that I harbor yeah. against you at the moment. There were things that you ought to have disclosed to me, my friend. The feeling of betrayal is overwhelming. Yeah. I wish that you and those around you experience the weight of your actions. Perhaps then you may understand the depth of my disappointment. Yeah. Send. ChatGPT, please make this sound more angry and resentful. Dear God, why is there so much pain and suffering in this world? If you were all powerful and all knowing, wouldn't we all be living in utopia and nobody would die? If you really exist, prove it. Stand in front of me. I'm waiting. I got into a car accident the other day. It hurt. Where were you then? I see homeless people on the street, sick people in the hospital. Are you on vacation, God? And why are there so many religions anyway? Are all these religions just different versions of you? Are you listening? Are you there? Why did you create us if we're born to get hurt, feel pain, and die? What's the point of being God if I can't see you helping me? I pray to you all the time. You never answer my prayers. And why do I have to die to know whether or not heaven exists anyways? And if you know everything that's going to happen to me, then what's the point of making me if I don't have the power to choose what I want to do or not want to do? In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. O oh, great and mighty God, where is your supposed benevolence, an omnipotent and omniscient being, yet the world is soaked in pain and suffering? Shouldn't your omnipresence mean a utopia, a world free from death? If you're real, then show yourself. Stand before me, for I am waiting. Just the other day, I was in a car accident. It was agonizing. Where the hell were you? I see your creation begging on streets, languishing in hospitals. Are you on some celestial vacation, God? And what's with the multitude of religions? Is it all you? Multiple faces of a single entity? Can you hear me? Are you even there? Why create us if our fate is pain, sorrow, and ultimate death? Where's the divine purpose if your help is an illusion, a ghost? My prayers fall on deaf ears unanswered. Why should death be the only way to validate heaven? And what's the point of my existence if my destiny is pre-written without any true free will? I'm a puppet on your grand stage, shackled in strings of fate. In Jesus' name, I beseech you, God. Amen. Send! You don't have to hit send, Teddy. I'm everywhere. Ah! 
I gotta write an article for my boss. When's it due? First thing tomorrow. You didn't have to come out tonight. I'm used to all-nighters. Use ChatGPT. Threads literally just came out. Instagram's new app. ChatGPT doesn't know anything past 2021. SEO.app uses ChatGPT, goes online, and literally writes your article for you. I call BS. Seriously. If I'm wrong, you pay for dinner. Deal. Go to SEO.app, add it to ChatGPT. The free version? I'm breaking up with you. Kidding. Type write an SEO article for the new Instagram app called Threads. I'm writing for the local paper, so it's gotta be Brooklyn, New York. Then add optimize it for Brooklyn, New York. That's it? You owe me dinner. I forgot my wallet. Waiter. Yes, ma'am. My boyfriend forgot his wallet. I got some dishes in the back. I'm breaking up with you.